घन विलास की थे आधार कार्ड तैयार करें कारण का तो हमारे गाँव में थी मे बी दस किलोमीटर दूर है माँ एक आधार कार्ड एक सारू एक आधार कार्ड तैयार कर सारू एक काउंटर एयरपोर्ट के और एक एक काउंटर की देते होता है आते थे वो नाम के नाम का सिचाव प्रोन है बुढ़ बुढ़ डोकरा उसे जान घना जीवन नहीं पड़े क्यों नहीं कहते वो जान उत्तर ताने ना वो डे मोतम क्यों माहौल पर ताने ना उसे करो को तो घना जीवन नहीं पड़े हो तो वो तो हमारे गए दस किलोमीटर दूर होते हैं काउंटर एयरपार्ट की दे उसे घने बंद ही पड़े होते हैं। We've seen examples of the difficulty of trying to collect biometrics uh, in remote areas. So when it's very hot, um, people start sweating, and the biometric machines or the fingerprint readers very often cannot um, collect the fingerprint of a very sweaty finger. Um, but then when it's very dry. Um, it's also usually hindered by the exposure to that sort of harsher environment um, and sand enters and so on. So a lot of the machines and a lot of the technology needs to be prepared for this type of environment, which is actually asking for innovation in an area that is also not necessarily um, usually uh, supported by extra funds to, um, to be innovative. Casteism is a harmful disease as much as like a racism. Is it equal? It's not. It's unequal, completely unequal. And like, why is access only given to certain people? I'm, I'm saying, the social structure is built on, you know, this sort of like one, you know, owner and slave mentality. I honestly wanted to write a book on basic human rights. Um, at least like work with lawyers and write a book on it and give it to uh, everybody, make it accessible to everybody. Minor again, I'm a minority community. I should learn a lot of difficulties. I like internet, so that's why I have a lot of time. Uh, maybe, at least, I'm 90 son born down to the Maka, but I'm a time mark. I'm a bad because I'm a internet as well. Excess marrow, but my parents are there. We have a there. We may own You see, as far as the information availability is concerned, they have very little information on the human rights phenomena and the reason is that uh, perhaps we have be, we have failed in our duty to disseminate this to them they are very much aware of their human rights according to their culture their ethos and their society so each tribe has its own rules and regulation of the society of the human rights who much how much one should get and how much one should not get and who has the right to what so they have their own norms and codes once somebody has to translate one, I mean, I think we have to translate their codes into our codes and that's what we have not done very successfully. So obviously they are not aware of their human rights.